Um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Indigenous peoples of all the lands we are on today. While we meet today on traditional Treaty 6 territory, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the traditional ter territories of Treaty 7 and 8 as well, as others from those territories may be observing our ceremony today. We do this to affirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships with the nations and to continuing, continually <laughs> improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures as well as to continue working towards supportive and healthy relationships with the children, youth, bio families, and indigenous communities we support and collaborate with. October is here already, can't believe it, <laughs> but it is our Fostering Kinship Caregiver Month in Alberta. It's a dedicated time to recognize the deep commitment of our provincial caregivers for their unwavering dedication to the children and youth in care whom they support. This recognition ceremony is a combined acknowledgement from the Ministry of Children's Services, the Aligned Association of Community Services, and the Alberta Foster and Kinship Association as a demonstration of our commitment to Alberta's caregivers as we give thanks for all that each and every one of you do. Uh, good morning, everyone. First of all, I just want to thank Elders Campion, Shannon, and Alexis for starting us off with prayer and song. On behalf of the government of Alberta, I'm very pleased to raise this flag in honor of foster and kinship caregivers who open their hearts to give young Albertans in care the safety, comfort, and stability of a new home. Being a caregiver is so much more than being kind. It's a challenging role. It's de it demands plenty of training, time, energy, and compassion. And you are making space for vulnerable kids, often on very short notice, so that they can feel safe and loved during one of the most difficult moments of their lives, all while keeping them stay as closely connected as possible to their families, siblings, culture, and community. Meeting the diverse physical, emotional, and cultural, and spiritual needs of vulnerable children and youth is certainly not easy. Even though your incredible skills and experience sometimes make it look that way, yet many of you have shared how much fulfillment and meaning you have found in your role and have encouraged others to consider becoming caregivers themselves. So please know that our government deeply appreciates your ongoing partnership. We want to hear from you about what is making and what we, can, what we can do to make your work easier. We will continue listening to feedback from you as caregivers, the Alberta Foster and Kinship Association, the Align Association of Community Services, and other agencies providing services to children, youth, and young adults. Because we're always looking for ways to improve our training and supports to help you be successful. So from all of us here at CFS, Thank you for stepping up to help us give young people in care the best possible experience. It's impossible to fully describe the difference it makes, but we've heard directly from these children and youth that creating a lasting connection with even one reliable person and feeling cared for and supported in the midst of chaos and crisis is life-changing. I'm truly grateful to be able to join you in recognizing Foster and Kinship Care Appreciation Month Alberta's government will continue to support you as you continue to support the children and youth in your care. So thank you again so much for uh, inviting me here and absolutely honored to be here today. Thank you. Also acknowledge all of our special guests in the room. So we have many people here today, um, those of you that will be watching this at a later time, from the Ministry of Children's Services, from agencies, um, from our association, from Align, and community members, people that have come together to really make this work. So we're really pleased to have everybody here today. Thank you for coming. Um, great. So 
my name, I guess I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, <laughs> but I am Melissa Jones, and the CEO for Alberta Foster and Kinship Association. And I'm really pleased to be here as the MC today and to welcome everybody. It is our honor to be here today, as always, uh, to recognize the courage and selflessness of foster and kinship caregivers in Alberta as they, without pause, open their homes to care for those children and youth in need of a safe place. As caregivers, you've accepted the role of caregiving for Alberta's most vulnerable and cherished. And the depths of responsibility required to walk alongside these children and youth when they need you the most, and the challenges that come with the enormous task of helping to bring empathy, care, hope, and love into the lives you care for. Your enormous strength, dedication, and unwavering support is so meaningful to us, to the children and youth in care, and to the many families whom you support in ways so often misunderstood for the betterment of all impacted by the traumas of our past. It is a strong, heartfelt thanks to you that we are here today to recognize the impact you have on the lives of these children and youth. The relationships you have with these children and youth last a lifetime. Some of those relationships may come and go, but know that you have been a very important person in their life and are never forgotten. That connection with them is always important. And this is something that I have felt personally with um, previous siblings that I've had come through um, our home as uh, foster parents. I wasn't a foster parent, but my parents were foster parents, and I still have a connection with many of them. And even those that are not a constant connection, there is a connection, and you, you hear from them once in a while, and it's just so, so important. So don't ever forget that. No matter how long you've been in their life, they will always remember. The team at the AFK come from various backgrounds with experience in this world of foster and kinship care. We understand the struggles. We understand the challenges. We also understand the strengths that you have and the reasons that we need to celebrate the role you've chosen to undertake. We are with you, and we thank you, and we continue to pledge to do whatever we can to continuously move forward in our supports for you and to do our part to help in meaningful ways, just as you do every single day. Said, my name is Rhonda Bearclough, and I'm the Executive Director of Lion Association of CUNY Services. On behalf of the Board of Directors and the agencies that provide care for young people, we want to send our heartfelt appreciation and gratitude to foster and kinship caregivers in Alberta. As we reflect on National Day of Truth and Reconciliation this weekend and honor the thousands of Indigenous children who suffered <clears throat> in residential schools, as well as the survivors, their families and communities, it's important for us to commit to addressing our own colonial past and we embark on this journey of reconciliation. As we build relationships with Indigenous-led organizations, learn from elders and community leaders on how we can fill the gaps, think differently, and be good allies to care, to care for children in safe and healthy ways, it's important to recognize we all have a part to play in strengthening families and having fewer kids in care. As caregivers commit to providing safe homes, they're also working to connect children and youth to their customs and cultures, helping to build self-esteem and confidence so young people can complete school and have successful, successful transitions from care. For this hard work, we thank them. Having said that, I also want to remind us that young people have voices. I recently read a really interesting article by young people about foster care. And they want to remind caregivers that they come from diverse family backgrounds, that their parents aren't perfect, but they're theirs. Adults mess up, they don't. We have dreams and ambitions. The system doesn't always work for us. Sometimes we just have regular kid problems. Adoption shouldn't be our end goal. And we're not just foster kids. We're young people who have happen to have experience in foster care. And I thought that was an interesting way to put it. Young people are resilient, have fortitude and tenacity amongst constant change and upheaval. They have an immense capacity to adopt to new situations, and we need to recognize this, encourage them, and support them. 
And of course, their foster families do that every day. We want to recognize foster families and caregivers for their ongoing commitment to these amazing children in our communities. And, we open, and they open their hearts and homes for them. And for that, they are true heroes. So congratulations to the foster families. And uh, hopefully this whole month is a good celebration of foster care appreciation. I want to say thank you so much again to everybody who has joined us today for this very important day. Thank you especially to the foster and kinship caregivers who are providing an extremely important role in the nurturing of children in their care. The role they play and importance they have should never be undervalued, should always be respected, and should always be considered a vital relationship and partner in the team of people responsible for the overall care of our vulnerable population of children and youth as they are amazing young individuals. Be proud of the impact you have on the lives of those you have in your care, and never be afraid to seek out support when you need it. Hello, I would like to begin our message by acknowledging that what we call Alberta is the traditional and ancestral territory of many peoples, presently subject to Treaty 6, 7, and 8, namely the Blackfoot Confederacy, Kainai, Pagani, Siksika, the Cree, Dene, Sotu, Nakota Sioux, Stony Nakota, and the Sutina, as well as the Métis people of Alberta. And this includes the Métis settlements and the six regions of the Métis Nation of Alberta. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit who have lived in and cared for these lands for generations. We are grateful for the traditional knowledge keepers and elders who are still with us today and those who have gone before us. We make this acknowledgement as an act of reconciliation and gratitude to those who, whose territory we reside on or are visiting. So now I'd like to ask Children and Family Services Assistant Deputy Minister Leanne Wagner to share a few words. Thank you, Terry, for the land acknowledgement. And thank you to all the caregivers, foster parents, support staff within the ministry and our agency community for your dedication to helping children and youth thrive. It is a privilege to work with you and see your commitment to children in action every day. Please take time over, over October to join us in celebrating foster and kinship caregivers. Back to you, Terry. Thanks, Leanne. So before I begin, I would like, just like to take a moment for my colleagues from across the province to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Jerry Mortensen. I'm the Regional Director for the South Region. Greetings, Vonda Thompson, Calgary Region. Hi there, I'm Clay Golden, Regional Director for Central Region. Hi everyone, I'm Heather Cluett, Regional Director for Edmonton. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Winship, the Executive Director of our Policy and Practice team. Hello everyone, my name is Tim Gillis. I'm uh, Executive Director of Field First Nation Field Operations. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Bizarb and I'm the Executive Director for our Provincial Campus-Based Treatment Centre team. Thanks everyone, thank you. And hello everyone, my name is Terry Leppard and I'm the Regional Director for Child Intervention in the North Region and one of Alberta's Provincial Caregiver Support Leads, the other co-lead being Jessica Winship, who you just met. Today and over the course of October, we come together to recognize and celebrate Foster and Kinship Caregiver Appreciation Month in Alberta. As you are well aware, kinship and foster caregivers provide stable and loving temporary homes for children and youth in need. They also have an essential role in keeping children and youth in care connected to their families, communities, and culture. We know that kinship and fostering is not an easy task, but every day over close to 4,000 kinship and foster caregivers in Alberta rise to the occasion and provide this essential care. Thank you kinship and foster caregivers for the incredible love, dedication, and selflessness you bring to the lives of children in need. Your commitment to providing stability, support, and a loving home is nothing short of heroic. Your impact extends far beyond the walls of your home, shaping the future of these young lives with each act of kindness and compassion. Your dedication in supporting vulnerable children and youth is incredibly important and value. The children you care for look to you for support and guidance and a sense of belonging in your home as they navigate stressful and uncertain challenges. Your patience, knowledge, creativity, kindness, and flexibility ensures the children in your care get everything they need 
right from late night homework sessions to cooking, family visits, attending cultural and community events, celebrating birthdays and holidays, being a shoulder to cry on, or a safe place to hug and express feeling. On behalf of myself and my colleagues, I extend my sincerest gratitude and appreciation in the work you do to care for and support children and their families. And for your dedication for helping our province's youngest Albertans achieve safe, happy and healthy lives. We'd also like to take the time to extend a special congratulations to all those caregivers celebrating important milestones. Please also know our teams in children and family services are working hard to support, engage and listen to you, Alberta's foster and kinship caregivers. Thank you for your continued resilience and showing up for the kids that count on you. We look forward to seeing many of you at local events to celebrate this important month, and we hope to get some time to celebrate yourselves and your fellow caregivers. Happy Foster and Kinship Caregiver Appreciation Month. Hello, my relatives. My name is Wilson Bearhead. I am Nakota from the Paul First Nation here in Alberta. I'd like to say to each and every one of you, understand the child's culture, understand and learn more about the child's community. The child needs both worlds to have some understanding about this world. And when I say to have understanding about this world, I'm talking about the time that we need to invest. Children have many gifts, each one being different. And that is why we have to support and encourage those gifts that they possess. We appreciate those caregivers on First Nations and those that are outside of First Nations. You have a great responsibility You are ensuring that the life of these children we know, as we know, is a gift from heaven, from the Creator. And for that reason, it, is a, it gives us great responsibility to ensure that we do the best that we can. Hey, good day. My name is uh, Leonard Weasel Traveler. Probably be better known as Leonard Basti. I'm, I'm one of the uh, elders for the Elders Wisdom Council. I'm from Bikani, Bikani Nation. And I've been involved with CFS for a couple decades. And in my work there, I uh, experienced you know, a lot of situations regarding our children in care and the, the families connected to the children in care. And, you know, the, the stories, my experience with, with this work, I, I have, you know, the, I guess the utmost appreciation for, for our caregivers, our, our foster homes, our, our child care givers, uh, the child care protectors, you know, all the whole system. You know, some of these children, the stories uh, that I have regarding my experience, you know, go to these homes and these homes, you know, are opened up to them, you know, with the environment of the child experiencing a home that that provides you know all their needs you know roof over their head clothing you know the you know and you know all the comforts of a home you know and also the benefits of of parents uh, also the benefits of having family and, and experiencing you know a, a healthy healthy family home environment and you know these these caregivers, you know, just just totally give of themselves for these children, and it's it's uh, 
it, it's really heartwarming, you know, for me to to witness these uh, these these homes and, and these these parents that provide this this service. Uh, so, you know, on behalf of you know the indigenous community, you know the the First Nation community. I'm from the Bikani First Nation, and you know the children that receive this care. Yeah, I have nothing but appreciation for these families, these parents, uh, these communities that provide the needs for these children to to have an opportunity to move forward in, in life and, and experience that. Hello. I'd like to greet you all that are listening. Uh, it's an honor for me to be able to speak to you today. And I just want to introduce myself. I'm Elder Joyce Peranto from the Paddle Prairie Métis Settlement that is in northern Alberta, situated 70 kilometers south of high level. And I'd like to say I grew up there, born and raised there. And uh, also I have three daughters and then I have uh, four grandchildren and two great grandchildren. So I'm I know what it's like to raise a family as well and also living on a settlement. We had a lot of people, and especially in my age group, that they had to look after uh, their kids, had no home, or the families took upon themselves to take care of them. And there, it was no problem, just accepted that way. And so, But things have changed through the years and the new generation is different and we seem to have a lot of children in care, and which is unfortunate. And, but we praise you people and we thank you so much for the things that you're doing for our family and our children that need homes and love. And you accepted them into your home, which is just awesome. And, uh, and, and, and I can ask you to continue to be doing that with all of them. And you are special people. Always remember that. Thank you.